is my truest confession I really want to be with you I need you like I don't have anything more in the world but but you like I can't even think of something that's more beautiful and more gracious and I'm gonna really admit this to you um I'm running from the feeling of needing others that I just don't need. And I see you as being the gateway to that level of freedom that I need to get to because I've been getting through it alone. And I've just been surrounded by that same energy and that spirit. And I only break through when I become more of me. But when I become more of me, it only makes them want more of me. And I've never even had something substantial that I could just hold on to forever. I mean, if you really look deep into my statement, I said, I never had anything substantial that I could hold on to meaning that I had the choice to hold on to things but to me I didn't believe those things were substantial enough for me to hold on to and maybe it was because of my own blindness and deafness but now I see and I see you and I see everything that I ever wanted and everything that I was running from but at least at this moment I know being with you is not settling I know I'm getting the very best and the reason why I have the evidence for that because I'm getting the very best for myself like I'm not even settling for any version of me I'm only aiming for the highest versions of me no matter how much it hurt no matter how annoying or triggering it can be i'm not even serving no lower part of me so for me being in this space and state and spirit it allowed me to only see you in the highest parts and only see you in the highest form and i don't mind being with you for a very long time for eternity in fact I used to be afraid of that. I used to be afraid of just being with someone forever, like knowing what that would do or feel like because I always felt like maybe I was missing something else out there that could be for me. I was scared of settling. That's what that truly was. But now I've been out there. I've been on the other side. I've I've been beyond the, the grass where it's supposed to be green. I've been beyond that. I played in the sand, and I've thought that, Everything I've ever wanted was always on the other side. And then I started to live on the other side. And I realized everything that I ever wanted was on the other side of the other side. And that other side is you. So I just really want you to know that I appreciate you. Like, I really appreciate you. And when I say appreciate, when I use that word, what comes to mind is... Being able to have something so valuable, something so righteous, and something so virtuous and amazing. Especially coming from things that just slipped out of my hands, but now I feel like my hands are so sticky. My grip is a lot stronger. I've improved immensely in my grip. So I know how to hold on to something and not just squeeze it. I know how to hold it right not let it ever slip my grip I'm a neon moon shining so bright and I want to tell you that I'm shining because of you I miss you and I haven't even seen you so, right there, that already lets me know that I'm denying all of my senses. I'm denying my own intuition, and I'm going for something that's further than that. 
something that allows me to be in your presence without even being in your presence. This is like astral projection or telekinesis, touching you without even touching you, feeling you without even feeling you, missing you without ever even having to see you. So now that I'm saying all this and I think about it, talking to you, communicating with you, exchanging messages with you and through you, I realize that the reason why I feel so much for you to you, through you, and connected with you in every single way, why I even feel like I even miss you, because, because you are the part of me I've been longing for.